Hello everyone, my name is Defton and today on MGS5 modding we are going to set up Snakebite in the mod manager uh, here in live video. Okay, so what we need to know about Snakebite is that Snakebite is, uh, as I said before, uh, the mod manager that we use. Uh, it has a full detailed uh, page on the Metalgear modding wiki. You can uh, look it up, you can read it. I actually encourage you to read as much as you can of everything uh, that's not only shown in the video but uh, in the links that we visit. Okay, uh, to download Snakebite you can uh, visit uh, the GitHub page or uh, you can visit the Nexus mod page. Both are always uh, updated, so it's really up to preference which one you want. Okay, so once you have uh, downloaded, it will come in an archive file. This archive file have a changelog and uh, the Snakebite installer. The Snakebite uh, installer is just one file and it's really lightweight, so you can uh, install it quickly and easily. So here you have to uh, agree to the license agreement. Okay, for choosing components, of course, Snakebite. You can uh, choose any destination folder you wish, because it's, uh, as you can see, uh, really light in size and uh, it does not require to be installed in the TPP directory. So yeah, I'm going to install it. As you can see, it's already complete. Okay, so once we're done with that, it will make a shortcut for us. So let's launch this shortcut. And here we have the welcome to Snakebite message. Here uh, you can pause the video or uh, when you are doing it yourself you can read it. Again, I encourage you to read as much as you can. Okay, we are going to click next. Uh, we have to select uh, the directory where uh, our TPP game is uh, basically installed. For this we're going to consult Steam. Click on properties, local files and browse local files. Okay, so we have the folder structure here. I'm going to copy it. Bring down Steam for a moment, uh, then browse for it. Oh, it's actually here already. That's really nice. Uh, okay, so here you have to select uh, tpp.exe. Okay, then click on Next. Uh, this is the backup existing data. This is something that you should do always. So uh, even if there is a skip button, you should not skip this. So we will not. We're going to click on Next. Uh, I already have some backup data existing, so I will just overwrite it. But please, always do this. It is going to take some time, about 5 to 10 minutes, but uh, it is always worth it. We are going to sit it out here. I will put uh, down uh, below in the comments uh, some timestamps, if you wish to skip this. But uh, I think it's also I think if we do it this way. So I'm going to mute my mic for now, and we'll return once it's complete. Okay, here we are. It went a little bit faster than I expected. So again, read this passage. Then click on Next. And uh, this is again going to take us some time. So what Snakebite is doing uh, right now is, as you can see, uh, taking non-Snakebite data contained within 00.dat uh, and 01.dat. Okay, meanwhile it's doing it. We are going to look up what these dat files are and where are they located. So go to uh, TPP install directory and inside master directory you can see this file. So these are the files that contain uh, the game data that we are going to modify later on. And uh, these are the files that we are going to uh, unpack. And uh, Snakebite also modifies these uh, files when we installing mods. So again, let it work. I will mute myself again. And uh, see you in a bit.
Modifying these files is taking a little bit of time because uh, chunk zero is almost two gigabytes in itself. And uh, also when uh, creating this backup, uh, it will copy a lot of data from there. Okay, as you can see, setup is now complete. Now we can click on done. And here is the main menu of Snakebite. So we have start game, which is kind of obvious. It's going to start the game. We have mods. This is where we can install uninstall mods. We have settings. Uh, we will check it uh, in a bit. And of course, there is exit that will close the program. So first go to settings. As you can see, uh, here is the install directory where the game is. And here are some tools. So the setup wizard will uh, launch what you have just seen, uh, the backup maker and uh, the revalidation. Also there is the restore backup game files, so uh, this is when you need to, this is when you wish to basically remove all mods. And the next one is open logs, this is something that you not really have to bother with, this is mostly for the people who are really uh, behind Snakebite. And there are some settings. Uh, of course, mods can be toggled on and off because we made backups and uh, we modified uh, the game data to search for uh, the mod files. Okay, so I think we should install a mod for demonstration. And I think uh, Infinite Heaven should be the mod that we install because it's not only because it's really popular, but uh, because it's a really great utility. So. Let's bring up Nexus. Let's type in Infinite Heaven. Okay, here it is. And go to Files and download the latest version. Latest version right now is R232B. Okay, so once it's downloaded, it will come in an archive file too. Open this archive file. We have the documentation here. Of course, you can read it if you wish. Uh, this is basically a user manual too. But we now need to copy it. Without the archive. Okay, and uh, it's going to be located here. Okay, infiniteheaven.mgs5. This is an archive file that uh, Snakebite will read uh, for us and install the mod from here. So click on mods. This is the mod window. Here are your installed mods and uh, here is always the description of the mod. So uh, you will see in a bit. So let's install this file. Let's jump to the directory. Here it is, Infinite Heaven. Open. Okay, so here is the installation order. Installation order is basically, uh, you should not install mods that are conflicting. Snakebite will warn you about it. But uh, you are free to do it if you wish. Uh, and uh, what's on the top will always get overwritten by, what's, uh, by what is below. But here we have no conflicts, we only have one mod to install, you can see the description here. Okay, we should just continue installation. Following mods will be installed, okay. And you can see uh, Snakebite uh, now have a real-time log. 
so it's uh, not gonna look like it's freezed anymore you can always see what it is doing okay uh, while it's installing uh, it should not take long but I'm gonna mute myself again and see you in a bit Okay, here it is. It is installed. So now we can click on launch the game. Uh, this will go to Steam for us and uh, launch Phantom Pain. But we are not going to do that right now. Okay, so if you wish to uninstall a mod, you just come back here. So let's say we played around with Infinite Heaven and we are dissatisfied with it. So we come back here. We come to mods. We can uh, then pick this so we have select the mod that we would like to uninstall and click on uninstall check mods so by doing this it's going to uninstall the mods and uh, snakebite will try to restore as much uh, of the original game data as it can you can see it uh, uninstalled really quickly okay uh, now i'm gonna install it again because i would like to show you uh, how to launch the game then okay so continue installation Okay, it's up. So now if we click on launch the game, it will launch uh, our game with the mods installed. Alright, cool. I think that's all. I'm gonna click on start the game and hopefully uh, it will not crash and burn my system. Uh, not because the mod won't work, but because uh, of the load that I'm putting on my system <laughs> right now. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how it does. As you can see, uh, the Steam window popped up for a moment. So Snakebite will always always uh, launch the game through Steam. This is uh, another anti-piracy measure. Yeah, I know it's funny I talk about anti-piracy while, while having the activate windows on screen. For the record, I'm just a student. Okay, now it should load. This is now all depending on my CPU power and my HDD. How long it will take? And of course, on Konami servers, as you can see, it's trying to connect online. Hopefully, it can. And uh, we will not have to sit here to form a farmer. Okay, so we can just launch the game. Okay, I'm going to press uh, escape. Okay, as you can see, uh, Infinite Heaven is properly installed. It allowed me to come back to the uh, ACC without launching the game. And yeah, here it is. Here is Infinite Heaven. Alright, cool. I'm, gonna, I'm now gonna exit the game. The mod is working. And uh, this is basically the procedure for any mods that you are installing. So, uh, if something is Snakebite compatible, you just unpack it until you have the MG .mgs5 file and uh, put it through Snakebite and it will install it for you. So yeah, really great tool. Okay, thank you for your attention and uh, I hope my proficiency will increase as we go on. Okay, see you next time.